Dear students, let me present to you another application of Shebyshev's inequality. Shebyshev inequality ka jo ek way hai likhne ka, wo zyada well known wo hi wala hai ke jis mein hum ye kehte hai ke the probability of the modulus of x minus mu being less than or equal to k sigma, this probability is greater than or equal to 1 minus 1 over k square, ya usi ka dusra version. Lekin is vakt, I would like to present to you an alternative form of the Shebyshev's inequality. Or wo, uh, it is not at all difficult to achieve that form. You simply put k sigma equal to m uh, and you get this new form. So let me read it for you. Uh, if we put uh, k sigma in that earlier version equal to m, then the inequality becomes the probability of the absolute value of x minus mu being greater than or equal to m, this probability is less than or equal to sigma square over m square for all values of m that are greater than 0. Achha, ye jo abhi kaha, isko hum ek aur tafa bhi lete hain. Sigma square ki jaga, I will use the word variance of x or mu ki jaga, I will say mean. So then what do we say? We say that the probability of the absolute value of x minus mu, x minus the mean, uh, this absolute value being greater than or equal to m, this particular probability is going to be less than or equal to the variance of x divided by m square. So, if we this version, I will show an example that how interesting this situation is. The example is as follows. Suppose that we have random variable capital X, such that Suppose that we have random variable capital X, such that the expected value of X is equal to 3 and the expected value of X square is equal to 13. And we are required to utilize the Chebyshev's inequality in order to obtain a lower bound for the probability that x lies between minus 2 and 8. I will say that because we only know that it is a random variable, but we don't know that it is a random distribution. We cannot say that it is the normal distribution, so we can apply those percentages which apply for the normal distribution. We don't know what is the distribution form. The only information that we have is about the expected value of x and the expected value of x square. So, in this case, we can use the inequality in order to obtain a lower bound. Yani exact probability nahi mil sakti. Lekin ek lower bound hume mil jaye ke usse aur kam nahi ho sakti. The probability of x lying between minus 2 and plus 8. So, hai na interesting question. It's quite an interesting question. So, let us see how we might solve it. Alright, let us uh, look at the Shebyshev inequality once again. So, we have the probability of the absolute value of x minus mu being greater than or equal to m. This probability is less than or equal to variance of x over m square for all m greater than 0. However, in order to obtain a lower bound for that probability that we are wanting to deal with, we will need to flip the inequalities. And what will we get then? when we flip the inequalities. We will read it as follows. The probability of the absolute value of x minus mu being less than m 
this probability is greater than 1 minus the variance of x over m square. Now, after that, students, who are on the left hand side, pe ye jo absolute value jo hai, uske saath pehle deal with it. Because it will confuse you a little bit and it is very important that you know to deal with it. When I say the absolute value of x minus mu is less than m, I can rewrite this as follows. Minus m less than x minus mu less than m. Yani, dusre lafzo me hum ye keh rahe hain. Ye jo x minus mu, ye jo entity hai, it lies between minus m and plus m. To ye jo ho gaya, iske baad ek step aur bhi hai. Ye jo x minus mu beech me likha hai, iska jo mu jo hai, usko hum vahan se hatana jate hain. Aur hum jate hain ki sirf x ho us jaga pe. So I will take mu to the left side of that inequality and also to the right side of that inequality. So what will I get then? I will get mu minus m less than x less than mu plus m. Because it's obvious that the minus mu in the middle of the middle, you will take it here and there, then it will be plus. Now that this is clear, we are able to proceed further. The form that I now have is the probability of mu minus m being less than x, being less than mu plus m. This probability is greater than 1 minus variance of x over m square. Now, variance of x, we will compute it because when we need it, we need it. We must compute that. Or, because we have the expected value of x square or expected value of x available here. So then we can apply the shortcut formula and we can get it very quickly. So, students, what is the variance of x? E of x square, as I told you earlier, that was equal to 13. Or E of x, that was 3. So 13 minus 3 square. 13 minus 9, that is equal to 4. Variance ab hamare pas aagya hai. To wo hum shabhi shabh inequality apply kar sakenge. Lekin abhi thoda sa tricky part rehta hai ki wo hume kaise pata chale ga ki m kya hai. Pahle chali zara trial and error se isko try kar lete hai. Suppose that we put m equal to 5. Agar hum m ko 5 rakhe hai, to mu minus m, that will be 3 minus 5 and that will be, will be equal to minus 2. Isi tara mu plus m that will be 3 plus 5 and that will be equal to 8. So, you have seen that your shabhi shabhi inequality ki jo final version which we are doing at this time, its left hand side hai, that is equal to exactly what we wanted to compute the bound for. So, what is that? Probability of minus 2 less than x less than 8. Yani wohi ke the probability of x lying between minus 2 and 8. To ab chuke hamne goya istra identify kar liya ke m ki value jo hai that is uh, 5. To phir ham ab laga dete hai shabhi shav inequality. So what do we have? We have the probability of minus 2 less than x less than 8. According to Chebyshev inequality, that is going to be greater than 1 minus the variance over m square, yani 4 over m square, yani 4 over 25. So 1 minus 4 over 25 is 21 over 25, or in other words, 0 0.84. So we have been able to determine the lower bound for this particular probability. Interpretation is sari baat ki kya hai? Is example mein? Ke ye jo distribution hai, jis ki form hume malum nahi hai, lekin jis ke baare mein ye information available hai, ke expected value of x is equal to 3 and the expected value of x square is equal to 13. For this particular distribution, the probability that x will lie within 
minus 2 and plus 8, this probability is going to be greater than 0.84. Yani 0.84 se zyada ho sakti hai, usse kam nahi ho sakti. So we have obtained, my dear students, uh, the lower bound for this probability.